Man, pretty soon. So when I was in college, I uh, I did summer stock for a couple for a couple years, and the second year that I did it, um, basically every other member of the intern company had just graduated from college, and so at the end of the summer they were moving to New York City. Me though, I was going back to Missouri to begin my junior year of college, which I was really just not having. And so I made this uh, very rash decision that I was going to unenroll myself in college, so I called the university, did that, froze my scholarships, found a place to live in New York City, and then I called my parents and told them my plan. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, they're right there. <laughs> I think they remember this. <laughs> it was really just a courtesy call at that point because, <laughs> because they should have been left to Harper. Uh, but I can see maybe why they had been a little concerned because I was 20 years old and I had $700 in my bank account, which had to last me for four months. Um, I mean, and you guys all know, I mean, you can take like a taxi from the airport to your apartment and come see a show 54 below and that's gone. <laughs> so, uh, I made the really wise financial decision that my first full day as a New Yorker, I was going to spend $100 of my life savings on a ticket to a Broadway show, <laughs> which I think still think was probably a pretty good idea. And that show was Thoroughly Modern Millie, which had just opened. And I really, yeah, I'm not a great show. And I loved that show, man. And I, I think obviously I identified with like the small town person moving to New York City. And I wanted to go see that show over and over and over, but. You know, I also like wanted to eat and whatever. <laughs> so I shelved that idea until I made some new other poor actor friends and I learned that you could actually sneak in to Broadway shows. Something that we call second acting. Now, okay, so let me preface all this by saying that what I'm about to tell you is completely illegal and I do not condone this at all. But when I was 20 years old, I did it basically every single night. And I was always really nervous that I was gonna get like caught and thrown into jail or like sneaking into cats. But the fact of the matter was that it's like, it was really easy to do. Basically, what you do is everybody would come out of the theater to their mission and you'd be hanging out by the theater. And uh, you know they come out to smoke and whatnot, and you just kind of join the crowd. And then when the ushers call everybody back in to, for Act Two to begin, you just you know, walk back in with them. And of course, I had this like technique where I would find somebody and start to chat it up, you know, be like, "Oh yeah, the costumes were magnificent, weren't they? Oh, Act One was so..." And an understudy. Oh, I'm so good. And then the second you get in, you bolt for an empty seat near the back of the house, and you just like hold your breath until the house lights go down, and then you breathe, and you watch act two. That's the term, second acting. Get it? Okay. So, um, I did this a lot, but I did it at Thoroughly Modern Millie like umpteen times. I really liked that show a lot. So a couple years later, I'm out of school, I'm back in the city, and there's an, uh, an open call for the Chicago premiere of Thoroughly Modern Millie. And um, so I auditioned, and I was cast in the ensemble to understudy the, one of the lead roles of Jimmy Smith. It was this really awesome song that I really liked. And, um, and, and I was just, I was really excited about it. We were, we were supposed to have over 100 performances in Chicago. And uh, so I get there, and the guy that is playing Jimmy Smith, he never had car trouble, he never got sick, and he never missed a single show. <laughs> so I never got to play that role, and I only saw it once on Broadway because it was in the first act. So, <laughs> so tonight's my chance. <laughs> All the places I would like to show you Although I hardly know you I have a funny feeling We'd make a perfect pair Famous sights I want to see you see The nights of you and me Me we Wait a minute Just a minute No, no, no no, I'm a joke, I just want him Every night to date a different dame Call each one of them the same bad name Hey, baby In a row I'll have my ducks Loads of gals to give me loads of yucks Leave the coon to the other clocks I don't mean maybe Got it good What do I need with love? Always practice what I preach Keep temptation 
station out easy to reach. Stick to dolls who wash their hair and bleach. Hey, I'm happy. Come and go the way I choose. Never gonna sing the tie down blues. Other guys would kill to fill my shoes. No wing clip. Without her Although I hardly 